Hey everyone, it's Lily720. Today we will be continuing with The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Um, we are just north of the Kakariko Village Thieves Town area, and um, we're right outside the entrance to the Dark World equivalent of the Lost Woods, which is called the Skull Woods. Um, that's where the third dungeon is, so we're gonna go up into there. And uh, this place, like, kind of looks the same, but you know, it's like obviously different because it's all evil now. And uh, there are still all of the the holes, like, like this, you, you know, and um, like the pits and the little entrances. They're skulls now instead of stumps, like they were in the Lost Woods. And uh, basically, everything that you can fall down into or enter will lead you into the Skull Woods dungeon. Um, but there, there are like many different entrances, and like there are many little entrances, and then one main one. Um, and if you know which one to go, which ones to go into, this dungeon is really easy and really fast. Um, so basically, we're gonna come down into this lone skull. We're gonna go in here first, and uh, here we're introduced to a couple of new enemies. Um, one of them being the Gibdos, the mummy things. And one of those being the wall master, which I'm glad I could just show what it does. Hopefully that's the last time it'll get me. Um, the wall master, hold on. Sorry, I need to turn my television up because um, I usually have the volume down pretty low when I'm recording, but uh, the wall master will make a sound before he falls. And that's kind of how you can tell when he's coming and you just know to not when you hear that noise just don't be where you were standing when you heard it and um yeah what he'll do is he'll pick you up and he'll uh take you back to the entrance wherever you entered and um i think it is possible like to walk into his hand i think i may have done that before um you can kill him but he'll just come back like it doesn't matter and he's in He's only like in this dungeon and then parts of another dungeon. Um, and he's just kind of a pain in the ass. Um, but it's okay. We're gonna kill the Gibdos. They do die by the sword, it just takes them a long time. And. Oh, and he got us! That was such bullshit! Oh my god, I'm not having an easy time. That yellow thing that came down, um, it turns us into a bunny. It's like, you know, it has whatever properties the dark world has that turns you into like the th thing, your true nature reflection thing. I don't know. I'm a little upset now because of the wall master. Um, yeah, it full on like hit us into the wall master's hand. I was not next to it at all. That was super irritating. And yeah, see it died, but it's gonna come back again, and I think at the same interval. Like, you don't even get a little bit of a break. No! No! Oh my god! I'm super pissed off right now. This is the second time, though, that I had to restart this because the, the wall master was pissing me off, and now I'm out of beam things because of the Gibdos. Uh, luckily, the item we get in this dungeon will fucking- oh. Wait, can I freeze them? Maybe don't hit- Maybe don't hit the block, though. But I want it to come down. Can I freeze it? I can! Can I smash it? I can! Sweet! Um, normally the weakness of those guys is fire, and then we'll get something for that in this dungeon. But, um, for the time being, I didn't know that you could freeze them. Or, well, I never really thought about it, I guess. Move! Son of a bitch. Okay. I'm gonna try and freeze it again. And I think every time you freeze and smash something, it'll drop magic. So that was nice. And I just want these things dead and gone forever. For good. No, you will not get me a second time. And here we have the big key. Alright, I just want to get the fuck out of here. I'm pissed off now. Move! Move! Okay. 
That time I wouldn't have been upset if the wall master got me because um, I'd have to go out anyway. Um, so now we want to come back out. I'm all on edge now for the wall master, but he's not like outside, he's just in the dungeon. And we want to drop down here. And yeah, he's still like everywhere. Is this where I wanted to go? Is it this way? No, it's up. God damn it. Okay, not a problem. We'll just go around again. Not a problem at all. So I'm kind of messing up a bit, but like I said, this dungeon's easy. If the Helmosaur would stop giving me grief and these things would go away. The Wallmaster is kind of a pain in the ass, but like, that's, that's really all he is, is a pain in the ass because he doesn't do any damage to you. Like, you can get picked up and picked up and picked up and it's not gonna hurt you, like, it's not gonna take life, it's just gonna kill you slowly on the inside. And here you can walk along the edges of the wall, I wanna see if there's anything in here. Nope. Um, what we can do is come down, pull this switch, and the whole wall will explode behind us, and there will be two mold arms here to just fuck you up or something, I don't know. And here we can get the fire rod! This rod commands the red fire, but watch your magic meter! Alright, and with that, we will be watching our magic meter. Uh, we can kill Gibdos now, like, super fast. Oh, there's the map. Yeah, we got the map. I don't think we're gonna get the compass, because that's down another hole that I don't care to go down. And pretty much all we did here was get the big key, get the map sorted by chance, because I could get that treasure chest, um, but I wasn't actually looking to get it. Um, but yeah, big key, treasure chest, big key. No, I said big key twice. Big key map big chest that's what i wanted do i have to exit i might have to go out and come back in another place because i am getting oh no wait that's not what i want to do what do i want to do i think i want to go back in the the d entrance sorry the uh i have like a a book of or like not a book i have a map of this and all of the things have a all of the things have a letter. This is the D entrance, that's how I remember. And, um... Yeah, are there any... Let's go check here real quick. Oh, there is a key, good! Because we might need that. Anyway, yeah, I wanted to come out here. Um, because we can come up here and this is the main entrance and the way you get in is you throw fire on that thing and now we can enter and that took way longer than it should have normally if you're not stupid like me it doesn't take that long um, we're gonna take a chance and get that key I think there was a key down in that treasure chest I think it's only for this door and now here we have a star tile hole map um, puzzle thing. Oh, I don't want the fire rod. Um, to me, in the inventory, the fire rod kind of looks like a hook shot, and there we go with the wall master again. Um, but that doesn't really matter. Just forget killing things, I suppose. Um, so we just want to be careful not to fall in any of the holes. Oh! Okay. That works. Didn't expect to do that, but whatever. Uh, now here we have- holy oh shit. We have the Gibdai that we can kill in one hit, and I'm so excited. Um, yeah, I don't know- I consider the plural of Gibdos- Gibdai instead of Gibdoses, but I'm weird like that. And so basically, now you know, you just want to light all the torches, which you can do very quickly with the fire rod. Shoot his ass. And yeah, so the yellow thing turns you into a bunny. And um, kind of like to avoid it, 
you just hit it into a, like, get it to fly into a block or something. Um, cut the vines at the center at the top, and there's a door. Better be a fucking key in here somewhere. Maybe the Gibdai has it. The Gibdos. And he does. Oh, fairy! Sorry, I feel a little hyper, and I don't really know why. And see, here, this is the boss already. Okay, good. And yeah, we're just gonna drop down. The boss we're gonna fight is Mothala. And you can use the fire rod. Honestly, these spikes are gonna start moving, and the spikes will probably do more damage than Mothala will. Um, you can use the fire rod until now when the magic runs out, and I still have, I should have a fairy or something. I didn't go get potions because I thought it was unnecessary because this dungeon is easy. Not a lot of things will kill you, except the boss, which I'm probably gonna die, but like I said, I have fairies. Yep, I died, but I have fairies. I think I said that three times. Oh my god, oh, that pisses me off. But it's dead, that's awesome. Death is always nice. When it's a boss, not when it's us. And now we have the third crystal. And that was extremely short. Like, I took way longer than I had to because I forgot some things and because of the stupid wall masters. But if you remember where to go and if you can avoid the wall masters, piece of cake. Honestly, it's like five rums, I swear to God. Link, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of that evil monster. Thank you. Do you know the prophecy of the Great Cataclysm? This is the way I heard it. If a person who has an evil heart gets the Triforce, a hero is destined to appear. And he alone must face the person who began the Great Cataclysm. If the evil one destroys the hero, nothing can save the world from his wicked reign. Only a person of the Knights of Hyrule, who protected the royalty of Hylia, can become the hero. You are of their bloodline, aren't you? Then you must rescue Zelda without fail. Do you understand? Yes, we do. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. Aha! Uh -huh. That was so awesome and quick. And now we have to work our way out of here, but I'll just, you know, get out of here on my own time. And uh, next time we will be doing the fourth dungeon. The reason. I'll just, I guess I'll, while I explain, I'll just get out of here. Uh, the reason for that, for doing the uh, next dungeon so quickly, is that we get, like, it, we get, the item we get in the fourth dungeon will really, like, open up the rest of the overworld to us. And so, um, I don't know if I wanted to do that. Oops, I fell down a hole. Uh, yeah, it'll really open up the, like, overworld to us. And we will be able to get, like, all the pieces of heart and whatnot, and I don't know where I am. This isn't really where I wanted to be. Oh well, I'll find my own way out. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you later.